Hello Aquarius Collective, Rose Warrior One here with a message for you today. Before I begin, just note, take what resonates, leave the rest here. This could be for a Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You can flip the roles as well according to your situation here as I'm just reading into the energy covering your auric field here. Let's go ahead and see what we have. Holy Spirit, just guide me here today. Guard me with a golden and white ray of light here so we can vibrate in a beautiful space of love, truth, and direction here. What do you have, Spirit? Ashe. And so we may begin. All right, I'm just going to pull one oracle card for y'all. What's the overall energy for the Aquarius Collective? We have true offering. So there's something about release, and there's also something about there's something coming in, incoming here is what I'm hearing. It says true offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. So there's something that you went through recently, Aquarius, where you really had to reshape the way that you viewed that situation in order for you to get out of that timeline feeling debunked is what I'm hearing, but also feeling drained or feeling like something took from you more than you got from it here. So you're learning how to transmute what could be pain or an unbearable cross or just even a mentally unbearable cross. And you're returning it or transforming it into love here. I keep banging the table here. So something about shit feeling a little rocky for you. Seriously, I am being called to pull one more oracle if it chooses to come out here. So let's see. Wow, 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 wow. We had a lot, but what clearly came out was extraordinary here. You are extraordinary, Aquarius. Never forget it. Whoever I'm talking to today, there's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. You're unique. You're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You could definitely have some sort of Leo or Sagittarius in your chart here. You don't have to, Aquarius. But I'm picking up on people who are performers, entertainers, people who have talents, people who are creative. You could build something as well as you're into music in some way, shape, or form here. Let's go ahead. We had two cards come out here. Spirit says to read them. Soul family, call in your tribe and dance with life. Do something to change your energy. There's something about two souls here. A soulmate could be coming through. Or you could already be in a relationship with someone who matches your vibration, who matches your equal level of effort here is what I'm getting. But yeah, we got this offering here coming in that you're giving back as you transmuted what was a painful experience or even just a very dark time of not knowing where to go even. You're transmuting all that into confidence and strength because once you go through something very challenging and you make it out on the other side one way or another, you then look back at yourself like, wow, I'm, I'm a lot stronger and I'm able to manifest even through very difficult time periods where I'm not understanding exactly where I'm stepping next here. You can still make things happen for yourself because you're not ordinary, you're extraordinary here. Period. <laughs> like emphasis on period. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. Splitting the deck, we have a Queen of Pentacles and a King of Cups. You could be this Queen of Pentacles or King of Cups here. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I see we have royalty in the building right now. Let's go ahead and see what we have for Aquarius Collective here. We've got Libra energy coming through. Libra and Scorpio, as well as Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again coming through. If I call out these zodiacs here, these, these energies, this could be resonant for you, your situation, or even people that are around you too. Whoa, this card wanted to flip out. Spirit says, read it. Right. You are literally, like I said, healing a moment with this Three of Swords that brought you heartbreak. It could have brought you a transformation that you didn't feel you were ready for. You could have had to end something very abruptly. This is what Capricorn kind of had coming through. So maybe this is a big collective thing going on, but it's manifesting for the signs differently here. But this dealt with miscommunication or this dealt with people holding out on information as well as not choosing to love as hard as they knew they could and allowing relationships to grow sour. Wow, that was very specific. 444 here on the clock. Aquarius, I'm going to write that down here. You seem to be very protected and have a lot of angelic presence around you because of what you face and how you're manifesting and transmuting this here. 
you have went through something deep. I see judgment though, you've released, you've made a call or you've answered the higher your higher self calling you to release all burdens, to release all that doesn't serve you so you can actually come in to this higher state of being here, which is where your vibration should be because you deserve a higher timeline, a higher self here. A higher state of being, of feeling, of thinking, of enjoying the quality of life here. You've made that judgment, right? With number 20, this breaks down to two. So this could deal with connections. You could have really went through something where there was a, a really sour connection or a sour energy around you here. Could have made you feel very less than in some of your situations in the recent past or in the past in general. You're releasing this because we got 10 of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. You've answered the call here from your higher self, from your guides, to release something. Ten of Swords is a release within the mind. It's turning the page here, and it's also a very abundant card when it comes to learning to let go and learning to accept what is so you can let what's new and ready for you for this next chapter so that can unfold here. So this is what I'm picking up that you're doing. We've got Nine of Cups coming through after you release with the ten of swords libra gemini aquarius we got pisces cancer scorpio with the nine of cups wish fulfillment this is a yellow this is also a yellow abundance here you've got this yellow aura or there's something about the color yellow that could be significant for you that represents the solar plexus your confidence using your personality to get through in life using your radiance using what you know you're good at, I just heard, I can work people. I know that I can sell this. So there's something about being a salesman, saleswoman, salesperson. Maybe you've worked in sales, but I'm picking up on someone who's basically just really good at speaking, really good at throwing their personality in any type of scenario and making abundance or making coin from it even because we got the treasure chest opening up. There's something opening up for you in order for you to feel this fulfillment, you, there's going to be something that transpires in your reality, Aquarius, that allows you to feel that opening. And then you're going to be able to burst burst through and just be yourself and just let loose, as you see. They're literally jumping up with joy because they're fulfilled. There's something about a rich energy coming through, for sure. So Aquarius, we have Six of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and of course Aquarius vibrations here with the air suit. So we got Ten of Swords and a Six of Swords. You definitely are releasing something. This is actually moving on, moving forward. You could physically be moving on or moving forward, or this is a mental or, an, or both of a mental and emotional move here, Aquarius. You could be moving on here, moving forward, moving onward from what does not serve you. Let's go ahead and clarify all this, Spirit. Four cards here to clarify. Yeah, I see that you're moving forward, not looking back anymore, not feeling confused. It's funny because that card that I just, that almost like slipped out of my deck here, it had a lot of energy attached to it. It's like swift. I can just feel it. You definitely could be a Cancer or Pisces here for sure. That's coming through. A lot right now bottom of the deck here two of wands there's this inkling that you have inside of you deeply rooted within you that you know you have to make and take this next step in this course of this course something about taking the next step of this course here you could be feeling like what you're going through is a course or a challenge but you're going to be making the right decision because King of Swords is on the bottom here of Two of Wands. This is clarity. This is someone who's very diligent at understanding what life is bringing at them, bringing to them. Yeah, my words are kind of messing up here in my head. So you definitely, I'm picking up on your energy. You, you could have definitely felt super in your head, super in your feels. You could have been very negative recently towards your situations, but now you're learning that there's a way that you're supposed to speak to yourself when you're really trying to heal, when you're really trying to let something go. And it's not by reliving it. It's by telling yourself, I'm going to release this for I don't need to hold on to it anymore. It's only creating stagnant energy. So we got the judgment here in Page of Swords to clarify. The Page of Swords is someone who's a messenger, 
of intelligence. This is a messenger. This is the air suit, right? So this deals with studious research. You could be really feeling like you have had to research about your healing. You've had to study. You've had to really dig deep. Maybe you even opened up a book here as I'm seeing, or maybe you're reading books or reading excerpts or articles on how to heal, how to really let things go. You're doing your best to find any information that will help you or that will help feed into the solution that you're creating yourself here is what I'm getting. But with this page of swords, I am picking up on that Aquarius flow. You have ideas coming in. There's just this gust of wind here because you're quick. You're quick, you're quick thinking, but this can work against you too is what I'm getting. Because we got the two of swords here to clarify the ten of swords. Not only did you let something go and you feel you have to move on, but this, whatever you're letting go, really caused a lot of confusion. It caused a lot of turmoil within your mind. You were stressed and very, very anxious about whatever this was because I see these two birds kind of bullying or picking on this divine feminine here. As she's confused and just trying to see, she's also blinded here because the blindfold is there. You could have been blindsided by something. Blind, blindsided. I don't know why I couldn't say that. <laughs> Capricorn was fine, but I seem to not be able to speak for Aquarius. So there's definitely something about the throat chakra. You are releasing for sure. I just feel this heaviness that's like slowly dissipating. <laughs> Nine of cups into the moon. And the moon is number 18 in major arcana, cancer energy as well as Pisces, mainly cancer. But the moon number 18 breaks down to a nine. This is basically 99 energy here. You could be seeing lots of nines because there are cycles slowly closing in order for new ones to begin, right? From nine to 10. So I'm getting this energy with the moon that you really saw things reveal themselves, right? The moon talks about being revealed or finding things being revealed to you because you dig deep within yourself. You're able to open up the treasure chests of information even if you will with this nine of cups here also showing the treasure chest there's something that's opening up and illuminating you but also the situation or something that you've been healing is being illuminated by certain downloads certain prayers or something that you're doing is really bringing this in quick i see one two three four now interestingly enough that's the number i saw for capricorn too so i got some capricorn energy here <laughs> i just heard someone say that's annoying <laughs> Whoever you are, that was funny. So we have six of swords and four of cups. You were contemplating something. You were feeling down in a rut over something. But there was creativity and vitality still within you. And it still exists within you now. So you're just learning that even though you're getting past these situations that made you feel weighed down here, you still have creativity and you still have projects and things to fulfill. Because whoever I'm picking up on, you've been in this path that you've been walking through the last few weeks to the last few months. And it's been revealing to you a lot about your connections, your connections with yourself, the way that you view yourself, and the way that you view the world. Most definitely, the way that you view the world. This is changing. Because with this two of wands, she has the world as well here. Whew. Lord. Let's go ahead and see. I'm going to pull one oracle card here to end your reading, Aquarius. If this resonates and you'd like more, comment below. Smash that like button as well as if you'd like a personal, you can hit me up. My time is very limited for personal readings. I only book a couple of them a week, okay? So if you would like one, just contact that information below or if you'd like to donate as well. All that information is below. I'm also promoting my Patreon channel a lot more because I'm going to be posting more private readings. I've been posting private readings for the last month and a half on Patreon. So when you add yourself to that or become a member for those that feel called to, you also get to tap into those old YouTube readings too that are timeless. So there could be something there for you. So let's move forward here with your card. We have 27. This is Road Warriors. We have a koala here as well as she has a tattoo. You could have a tattoo on your right arm or a sleeve even of tattoos. This says wildlife on her arm. So Aquarius, this is definitely your energy coming through. You're the rebel. You're the road warrior is what they're saying here. So maybe you could be traveling. Maybe you're on the road of some sort. 
You could be a traveling musician, a traveling chef, a traveling nurse, a traveling agent even, just for airlines as well. But I'm getting something about travel and being on the road as well. But I do see something about goggles or glasses. You could, you could definitely have an animal that you're very, very close to at this time. There could be an, a domestic animal, meaning an animal you keep at home with you that is very close to you, but this animal has a way of protecting you and making you feel comforted too. It's just a vibrational thing is what I'm getting. But yeah, you do come from a wild background or you could have called yourself a very wild person in the past, but you've grown a lot is what I'm seeing here. You could still be wild. There's nothing wrong with that. Part of being feminine too is having that common collectedness too within the nature and the nurture and then being wild, right? That wild feminine is a part of all that. I am picking up on a feminine or divine masculine here, but you could definitely be a feminine for sure. That's just what's coming through. Bottom of the deck is Catwoman, so you could resonate with Catwoman here. That's 26, so it breaks down to an 8, which is the number of karma, and that deals with what your lifetime and your experience is too because of Saturn, because of Saturn ruling karma here and Saturn being one of your ruling planets, Aquarius, you definitely have that number eight, which deals with finances, breaking karmic patterns, and also creating new cycles that benefit you as well as being protected while you do so. That's your message today. I love y'all. Have a great day. Remember, if you'd like to book a personal, donate or join Patreon, that's below. Peace. Ashe. And so we may see ourselves away.